Okay, well this week we're going to look at FFmpeg, an audio conversion, actually an audio visual uh, conversion tool that uh, we're just going to use the audio features on, but it's really full featured and will convert anything to anything for you. Uh, so that being said, let's let's get started. Okay, we're going to look at FFmpeg, and if we uh, do that, we'll see there's all kinds of options, and I mean, it's it's pretty amazing, but uh, we're only going to be working with audio, and so, uh, in, in this video, so we're going to use FFmpeg to convert uh, any, pretty much any audio we'd like. Uh, the the basic format is going to be FFmpeg dash I, uh, and I happen to have a file auto dot wave, and we'll call it uh, auto one dot wave. No conversion at all, just to show you how this goes. And what it is is FFmpeg, then dash I the input file, and at its most basic the output file. So let's do that. And let's take a look at the output here for a minute. And what it says is, I'm getting a WAV file from Auto Wave. It's uh, got a bit rate. It's a uh, 16-bit, 48 kilohertz. And I'm putting output to a WAV file, 16-bit, uh, 48 kilohertz. Basically, all we did was change the name. Uh, but we can we can start doing other things. And let's FFmpeg. Bash. Uh, auto dot wave and let's say we wanted to turn it into a flack and you see now I have a flack file uh, let's look up here and see what it said uh, 16 bit 48 kilohertz stereo I'm going to 48 kilohertz, uh, except it's outputting as a flak, still 16 bits. Uh, let's change that. Uh, one of the things we can do is we can change the format and go FFmpeg uh, dash. First, before I do that, let's look at what formats this thing will handle. Uh, And D, by the way, means I can decode this and I can encode that. And here's all kinds of formats this will deal with. And if we come up here, we'll see FLAC somewhere. And we know it works with FLAC because we just did it. Yes, I can decode and encode uh, raw FLAC. And I can do MP3s or anything else. Uh, and we should look at FFmpeg dash sample formats and this is this is uh can be a little deceptive because this says you know i can do these various uh bit rates and things like that uh bit formats but that's not always true uh there's a couple places where you'll see things that will imply that maybe i can do 24 bits as you can see i don't have any bit depths here for 24 bit uh, some of the formats might not understand uh, what is the 32-bit or something like that, but in this case, we can go back to what we did before, FFmpeg, and uh, input, uh, auto.wave, and say sample format uh, S32, uh, auto.flac, should come up and give me a warning. Yes, I don't mind overwriting it. And if I look, uh, hmm. darn it, I need to learn to type one of these days. Okay. Uh, Notice it throws an error because it says you got an input file with no output file. But let's look at what it says. It says input flack. Uh, and it says uh, here's my bit rate. And notice it's 48 kilohertz 
uh, 32 bits, uh, which is just what we thought we converted. Now, this takes some native things uh, that it's got embedded in it, but one of the things that we might want to do is... Uh, to, no, I'll do that in a minute. Let's First, let's take another easy option, the uh, audio rate. As you saw, those were 48 kilohertz uh, files, so let's take auto F, F, MPEG, uh, input auto dot wave that you'll recall is our 48 kilohertz wave file and i can say oh change it to cd quality audio rate uh, 44 100 i'm sure we all know that auto one dot wave it says do you want to overwrite yes and we look at the output again and it says uh the input is 48 kilohertz 16 bit and the output down here should say 44.1 kilohertz 16 bit and that's just what we want so we can change the rates on these uh, PCM files we could go to 2250 uh, whatever whatever we'd want to do 192 uh, thousand whatever our our choice would be uh, so when we come down here sometimes what we want to do is use various codecs if, if we've got a particular codec on the system in fact let's let me do this for a minute let me come down here and clean up uh, uh, okay so we've got three files now that's not that's not a problem. But let's do what we did before, FFmpeg, uh, input, uh, auto.wave. And now I'm going to give it the uh, codec option, audio codec. And I'm just going to say use FLAC. And I'm going to output uh, auto. Darn. Okay. So you see what we've done, FFmpeg, input auto wave. I'm specifying a particular codec, FLAC, and I'm putting it out as FLAC. Oh, boy, my typing today is just terrible. A codec, yes, there we go. It, I know it already exists, and it does it, and it makes the FLAC files. We can see the output was FLAC, 48,000 kilohertz. We didn't change any of those things. Uh, this can be real handy if you're going into particularly uh, on some of uh, some of uh, like like MP3. Uh, I don't know what codec they're using in here, but we can specify if I wanted to go to MP3, I could say uh, FFmpeg uh, input auto dot wave. Uh, Codec, uh, and I could use my live MP3 lame encoder and put out auto uh, dot MP3. And what was my input? 16 bit. What's my output? Uh, I think the default here, and we'll look at uh, some other options for MP3 and AUGs and things like that here in a second. But you can see that it, it did indeed make a make an MP3 file uh, and uh, 128 kilobits per second. Uh, one of the interesting options with with this. Oh, uh, just to extend the example a little bit. Let's come up here and let's say live Vorbis because we never want to shortcut augs. And we'll say AUG, and it will make an AUG file for us. Uh, uh, again, uh, what you know with its options, 88.6, and we'll we'll come back and look at that. Like I say here in just a second. So so let's do that. Let's talk about the quality of these lossy files uh, with the flak I mean the thing is with the flak and with the 
waves and those things, I mean, you know they're lossless. Uh, you don't really have to worry so much about this quality. You're just going to be worried about, you know, the sample, uh, the, the bit depth and the bit rate. And uh, we already covered those things. But let's let's look at this because they have a, a feature here, a, a flag, whatever, to uh, determine what quality I want to use with my lossy encoding. So we'll start with, uh, we'll start with uh, MPEGs. So let me take a real quick look here at what I, uh, yeah, let's, uh, Okay, and so FFmpeg, input, auto.wave, and I will use and let's go for uh, if you look at the help, it, it says there's a other flags, but I find that somehow when I'm sending the quality things into specific libraries, that the dash Q colon A, uh, this is what is the quality for the audio, uh, flag seems to work best for me, and I confess I have no idea why. But I can go zero, which as you know in an MP3 is a pretty high quality MP3, and I'll call this uh, auto zero. Did I type that wrong again? Boy. There we go. And let's do it again at uh, auto, and we'll call it 9. And we'll use quality 9. And you can see that I have two MP3s here, and they are considerably different sized. Uh, zero in MP3 being a high qual higher quality uh, variable bit rate, and uh, nine being a pretty pretty crummy quality uh, variable bit rate. In fact, right there you can see 72 uh, kilobits per second, and what was it up here? 262 kilobits per second. If you can see that inside all this, so. Uh, we can control the quality and hence the size for a lossy file with this. And we can do the same thing with AUG, although AUG it's exactly the opposite. Uh, you know, zero is, is the worst, but we can uh, still do the same thing, FFmpeg. Type it all the way out. Yeah, Lib Vorbis and uh, dash quality uh, quality audio, and we'll go for zero. Uh, um, we'll call that auto. Uh, we'll stick with the same kind of convention there. Og, and it does it. And we'll do the same thing. Nine. Nine. And so let's look at that. We've got a nine August 803K. And we've got a zero uh, AUG that is uh, 142K. And again, uh, notice that the that we got 268 bits versus uh, what's it up here 47.5 so again we're controlling quality uh, just with that uh, col it's a dash Q colon a flag and so that's pretty much in that's pretty much all there is to it and I just wanted to uh, kind of go over that uh, you can uh, it's a command line tool I know a lot of times we get stuck with GUI but uh, for audio conversion on on uh, FFmpeg, uh, you know, using those GUIs is even more confusing to me than, than anything else. 
So once again, it's FFmpeg. FFmpeg dash input file and the file name whatever it is and then output options and then just the output file y, 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 x, 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 whatever it is and again if you don't put any output or any put options I was just put mp3 here or aug or flack it will try to interpret it uh, but the choices it uses to interpret it might not be uh, what you'd like. So anyway, that's it. FFmpeg, pretty easy to use. Uh, that's it for this week. And next week we're going to get, I've been uh, spending some time looking at some uh, pretty exciting sound things. So we're going to be back on actually making uh, some sounds. It'll, it'll be cool. But that's it otherwise uh, if you have audio conversion you've got to do ffmpeg is uh, pretty full featured it does an awful lot of uh, files one to the other and that's it for this time i'll see you next week okay i know we went through that fairly quick but uh there was a lot there and uh, man uh, ffmpeg or uh, FFmpeg-help will will get you the rest of the way. Uh, like I said, it'll convert anything to anything, and you just need to play around sometimes to uh, with the you know checking over the settings uh, for the conversion. But otherwise, you're good to go. And I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get back to making some some amazing sounds. So next week we're gonna we're gonna look at some new really cool stuff for. Uh, sound manipulation because frankly that's that's more fun so i'll see you then